My name is Camber Parker. I'm the Development Director for the Greenville Area Parkinson Society, GAPS, and our mission is to increase the quality of life of families affected by Parkinson's disease across the upstate. We are 100% locally founded and funded, and we're non-medical and non-research based. So everything that we do, all of the programs, are completely free to all of our members, so anyone with Parkinson's disease or their caregivers and family members. And we really focus on three core areas, education, exercise, and advocacy and support. So all of our programs, our signature GAPS programs, are found in those three buckets. Um, for example, exercise is proven statistically to help um, lessen the symptoms from progressing in people with Parkinson's disease. And so we offer a weekly free virtual program now. Of course, everything is virtual these days, um, but we offer an exercise program because we know that, you know, given this disease, isolation is already a symptom. So then when the pandemic started, they were feeling, they meaning our members, were feeling even more isolated. And so we knew that we couldn't just stop these, you know, stop in-person programming and not offer anything. And so we have programs that, um, you know, are not medical, but they're really focusing on those three core areas. And that's how we really, um, you know, that's how our mission thrives. A few years ago, the Michael J. Fox Foundation, which is a national foundation, they released um, an article with data including an estimated 12,000 people across the upstate alone have Parkinson's disease. We are currently serving 1,500 people in the upstate. So obviously there's a huge gap there, no pun intended, because our organization is GAPS, mm -hmm. but there's a huge gap there. And so our goal as an organization is to reach those people. In response to the pandemic, we actually added several new programs that we're planning on continuing long after the pandemic is over. Um, and a few of those are really interesting because we would have not known that they were needed until the pandemic happened. So a few of those is a bereavement group. So we recognized that that was a need and an added um, component of support that we weren't offering before. We now offer member calls quarterly where we're reaching out to our 1,500 members across the upstate, checking in, seeing what resources they need, and then we connect them to those resources. So we're going to continue to improve on those programs, and I just think it's really cool that we, we were able to identify that as a result of the pandemic.